Hi, Rohit. Hi. Um, about Virat, now we've already spoken now there. Um, over the last few months, people saw him the way he was. He was trying to score runs. He was obviously struggling a bit at times. Um, can you talk about that process and the difference you've seen in the last two, three years leading up to this unbelievable moment for not only you, for all of us? Yeah, look, uh, I, speaking about Virat, I think... Um, I honestly don't think he was struggling uh, with form or anything. He he was batting as good as he was, but with him, the expectations is always so high that even if he gets a good 30 or 40, people tend to talk about it. But I, it, from the team management perspective, I, th I thought, you know, um, he was in good space uh, uh, right from the Asia Cup uh, where he got a month off and then he came back to Asia Cup. He was fresh, got a brilliant 100 there, uh, got a couple of 50s if I'm not wrong. And then leading up to the World Cup, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, um, we we know the quality that he has uh, and he's done so well uh, in, in these type of conditions in all three forms. Uh, so obviously, he used his experience today more than anything else, uh, you know, staying calm under pressure. And uh, we know how good he is when he, uh, when the score is in score is uh, in front of him. Uh, you know, he's one of the best chasers in the world. Um, so yeah, I thought uh, that partnership between both of these guys, the hundred run partnership, was a game changing moment. Devendra Pandey, uh, Rohit, uh, in your entire career, uh, do you rate this Virat as the best knock you have seen in a personal note? And what a pep talk did he give before the game? Pep talk? Yeah, no, I mean, see, it was just about the occasion. Um, it, obviously, you know, some of the guys uh, haven't played in Australia. Um, and some of the guys were playing for the first time uh, in the World Cup uh, and seeing 90,000 people. Uh, it, <clears throat> it's not going to be easy. Uh, and that is what he said. Just, you know, we need to hold our hold ourselves. and. We need to focus on what we need to do because we are here to do a job. Obviously, there will be a lot of support uh, on the ground for us. Uh, so, bus, just focus on what we need to do and our full focus has to be what we need to get out of this game. Uh, and what was the other part? Yeah, I mean, I think it has to go. He's uh, uh, definitely best for sure. But I, I think from the situation uh, we were in and to come out uh, victory, uh, I, I think it has to be one of India's best knock, not just uh, his best knock. Uh, because till 13th over, we were so behind the game, uh, you know, and the required rate was just climbing up and up. Uh, but to come out and chase that score uh, was was an extremely brilliant effort from uh, Virat. And then obviously Hardik played a role as well there, you know. Uh, so I thought both of them, uh, you know, because these guys have played under pressure so many games for us. Uh, so they they knew exactly how to handle uh, that kind of situation, and they did pretty well in that situation. Uh, my question is: When it was thirty-one for four, or even the seventeenth over, after it was one hundred and twelve for uh, four, uh, what was you thinking at that point of time as captain? Did you believe that something can be done, or you were just skeptical about it that? Maybe, may not be. No, I mean, when, when you have guys like those batting in the middle, you always believe that you're going to get the scores. Uh, because Hardik has specially batted in that type of situation a lot. Uh, and Virat, with his experience, with the kind of batsman he is, we always believe that, you know, these guys these guys can pull, pull us off from that situation. Of course, it was not an easy situation. We were, obviously, like you said, uh, we required, I think, 62... Yeah, 62, I think, in five overs, which is not an easy task. And with their bowling attack, uh, you will back, uh, you know, uh, those guys to get.